Sir. Jarl? So what's the word on the Dominion? Though the Monitor is dead, many still fight on. Talk to you later. Hear me? I hear you. Huh. Bastards are probably here to stay. You came through. Fine work. Of course we did. Never a doubt. Thank you. Time for celebration! Whew. Let's all have a drink. As long as we don't talk about work. What, me? Okay. <laughs> I just need a moment. Can I talk about my Strider? Uh, I have plans. Just give me five minutes to relax with no Strider, no Anthem, no Relics, no Contracts. There's something you need to see. I want you to meet Grandmaster Adams. You entered Freemark. You silenced the Cenotaph. Yes, with help. Right on. Strong alone, stronger together. Hey, let me show you something. We found this just inside the eastern border. Killed two of our team before we were able to put it down. And I mapped the region on it. Urgoth, you've heard of them. From stories, paintings, but they're long gone from Bastion. Well, this could either be a single scout or the beginning of something much, much bigger. Corvus is worried that the death of the Monitor, while vital, has left us vulnerable in places we never even considered. And we're reaching out to you because, by all accounts, you're something special. But can you keep quiet about this? We don't want to freak people out. Sure. Good. We'll be in touch. Madam Chronicler? Ah, you did it. Did what? Silence the heart of rage, my dear. Who'd have thought? Well, I had help, Halleck and Faye. Who are you serving with modesty? You did a great thing and you must acknowledge it. As my mentor, Negandel, used to say, you know who Negandel is, of course. You mentioned him once or twice. He was your mentor? Indeed. He was a master cipher, author, activist, and member of the royal family. Sounds like quite a guy. Indeed. And as he used to say, and say to me in particular, let others celebrate your gifts, for what is ordinary to you is a miracle to another. I guess so. Things will never be what they were, but they are getting better. And so I shall reward you with the gift of knowledge, of course. Of course. I'd like to present you with an old favorite of mine, the Freelancer Three. 
It's about as famous as you will be. <laughs> Thanks very much for the book, Madam Chronicler. And now, I should get going. See ya. See ya? Yeah. You can't muster a better goodbye than that. What's wrong with see ya? Everyone knows it just means see you later. Can you guarantee every single person in Bastion knows that? It's common enough. But you are not common. Nor should you stoop to be so. Right. Who does modesty serve anyway? Goodbye, freelancer. Goodbye. All of them ignorant. All of them blind. Freelancers and ciphers and agents. Fools to the end. Challenge the anthem, and you challenge the way of creation. Nothing is real, because nothing lasts. We're all clay to be molded, puppets of meat beholden to the shapers. They twist the anthem this way and that, like a poly. So, you're the one after all. I thought it might be you. The Grand Master talked to you? I talked to him, yeah. What's this about? Oh, you've been making waves. Opening the gates of the Fortress of Dawn? Not bad. But reaching the Inner Sanctum? Oh, all kinds of wheels started turning in Antium when you did that. What do you mean? Why would anybody in Antium care about me? I mean that wheels literally started turning inside the palace. Arden Vasa built some device to tell him if a worthy Lancer appeared. I hear it told half the city. That's huge, and unexpected. A lot of eyes are watching you now, wondering what you'll do next. Yes, well, we're not the only ones. I can help you with that. I guess it's time to properly introduce myself. I'm the law keeper and storyteller for the Legion of Dawn. The Legion is gone. It broke apart centuries ago. The Lancers left the path, it's true. But there have always been a few souls tasked with keeping the Legion alive. Arden Vasa left the wheels ready to turn for a reason. The path of the Legionnaire has been waiting, like the doors at the Fortress of Dawn, for a worthy Lancer. This sounds like you're about to give me a contract. Or several. Not a contract. Not a job. A challenge of a sort. You know the stories of General Tarsus. Do you know the tales of her most trusted counsel? I've heard their names. Children's stories, but I don't think that's what you're asking. You should know whose footsteps you're following. At the height of the dawn, countless lancers flocked to the banner of General Tarsis. All who had the heart to fight were given a place, but a few were more than just lancers. These were the boon companions of Tarsis, walking the path as she did, the legionnaires. In the trials, Arden Vasa said something about walking the path, too. You opened the doors, but it's not enough to pass the tests. You must keep walking, day after day. Arden Vasa, builder of the first javelin, the first emperor. Sanadine, whose swiftness inspired Corvus. Medero, Magnastral, and Leotrail the Unbroken. They all had one thing in common. They shared the ideals of Helena Tarsis. And you want me to do that, too? Follow in their footsteps. Become a legionnaire. So many eyes are watching you. If you can do this, revive the path of the legionnaire, maybe the glory days of the legion are only beginning. Mederon was the son of Arcanists. He had lived his entire life in a cavern, underground, hiding. At ten years old, he had never seen the sky, or an Urgoth, or any beast but men. The world was utterly unknown to him, except for tales of horror and woe. But among the stories warning children to hide and obey their parents, Mederon heard one other, a whispered tale of a rebellion against the Urgoth and a legion rising to set all people free. So, 
At just ten years old, Mederon left the safety of the Arcanists to find the Legion of Dawn. His parents couldn't have just let him go, could they? They forbade him, of course. But he picked his moment and ran away. Raised to be a scholar, he knew how to read the secret signs of the Arcanists. He followed them through the wilds to the Legion of Dawn. Or he tried to, anyway. The Chimera had a different plan. Is this the kind of story where a small boy fights a Chimera with a stick and a rock? No. Although most of those stories you've heard are based on Midero. He'd never seen a Chimera. He'd never even seen a Grabbit. But he was a very good student. He learned all the warning signs that he was being hunted, and remembered stories about laying false trails. He led the Chimera on a long and winding path through the rocks, back and forth. He could never shake the creature, but it could never find him. Then, the other hunters came. General Tarsus, in the first javelin ever made. Testing her new armor, she found the Chimera stalking the boy. Lucky for Madeira. No luck about it. Tarsus followed his trail, just as the Chimera did. She was just learning the javelin. No one knew what it could do. Not even the man who made it. Not trusting her suit's strength in a fight with the Chimera, she lured it into chasing her instead. While it ran after Tarsus, Leotrell found the boy and spirited him away to safety. After all that, he just went home again? That's not much of a story. I said safety, not home. They took him to their own camp, where the Legion hid at the time. When Tarsus asked where he lived and who his people were, Mederon replied, You are my people. The others tried to persuade him to return home, but after a long moment, Tarsus said, He is home. From then on, Mederon served as a page to the Legion of Dawn. Eventually, he became a legionnaire himself. But that's another story. Freelancer, you're here. Good. What have you got for me, Bryn? Remember that ultra-powerful Shaper Relic the Scars were enhancing with Arcanist machinery? Yeah, and that he Scar I saying the Relic would bring down the fort. The Scars hit it well, but thanks to our beacons, I may be onto something. We're detecting a massive Scar presence, and a power signature I don't recognize. It's got to be the Relic. I'm on it. Go, Freelancer, and thank you. I take it you got Robin Moore's archive decrypted? We did. Moore discovered a Shaper relic that he called the Auspax. The Symposium wanted it. Moore refused them. They pursued and eventually murdered him. But Moore knew the Symposium was coming. That's why he covered everything up. So the Symposium would never find out he hid the Auspax. I see where this is going. You three know where it is. Yes! Data archive, so much everything. Breathe. What Maddie is trying to say is that Moore's archive tells us where the Auspex is. Wait, what does the Auspex do? Don't know. You'll just have to get there and bring it back so we can examine it.
That's wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Good, good. There you are. I have news on our missing Shaper fragments. You found them? Not exactly, but I do know that that coward Diggs is planning on selling them off to the highest bidder. An auction? Yes, some of the Arcanists you rescued overheard a few things. Gave me the idea. Where would this happen? I talked with some freelancers. Got some locations that would be ideal. Uh, my gut tells me Diggs won't wait long to do this. Sounds right, okay? I'll get out there and start a search. The heart of rage is no more. Freelancers kept their promise. I will shout this from the rooftops. The rooftops, you hear me? I hear you. Anything for my favorite freelancer. for this auction from some freelancer friends. What can we expect? Stolen fragments will attract the very worst kind of people. Those freelancer friends of yours joining us? Can't reach them today. I'll keep trying, but you focus on finding Diggs and upsetting his plans. With pleasure. Have you been to one of these shady auctions? A long time ago, regulators stole my javelin, tried to sell it. That did not go well. Well then.
Why is this site likely for an auction? It's been used before. Outlaws have few original thoughts. See if we can find something. No outlaws in the area. I'm not getting any signals. I've seen a lot of boxes, equipment. They we're in the middle of setting something up for sure. Looks like they left in a hurry. Got something here. A partial map. I see. Looks close to one of the other locations. Hmm. Worth it, look. On my way. The damage takes cost. Can we fix it? No choice. Freelancers are needed. With your help, we'll make this right. Must be here somewhere. You be careful, this feels off. Got something. Source of this. Now! Hit him high! Uh oh, we got company. Get out of there! It's an ambush! Yeah, I got that. Cowards!
those fragments. Oh, and uh, don't get shot. Chapter one of the Freelancer's Handbook. Yes, we do. 